Some people think your success is measured by the amount of intelligence you have. Life has taught me it's not about that. It's about working hard towards your goal, never quitting until you get there. Don't stop till you get there. Let's pass. Okay, so if, if you're watching this recorded and you haven't tried to do it, please press the pause button. Try to do it. Always try to do it. Um, so let's talk about it. An aquarium has a length of 8 feet, a wide of 12 feet. Let's start writing that down because it says an aquarium. I like to make a little drawing. The drawing helps me. Anytime I think of an aquarium, I'm thinking it's probably going to be related to volume. Most likely in the ASVAP, it's related to volume. Uh, it's giving you 8 feet length. I could call this the length if I want to. Wide 12 feet and height 10 feet. How many cubic feet of water is in the aquarium at 85% capacity? 85% capacity. Now, there are some key words. How to know when it's volume? Volume is how much it fills up a three-dimensional figure, the capacity it has. So whenever it says the word capacity, that's related to volume. Whenever it says cubic feet, cubic yards, cubic meters, any, any cubic unit is related to volume. Those are key words to know it's volume. <clears throat> so we know it's volume, volume of a box or a cube or a rectangular prism is going to be a length times wide times height. So we have our length, our wide and our height. Length was eight feet wide. Wide 12. Height 10. We multiply that with the formula. 8 times 12. 8 times 2, 16. Carry the 1. 8 times 1, 8 plus 1, 9. Times 10. 0 times 6, 0. 0 times 9, 0. Space. 1 times 6, 6. 1 times 9, 9. You add it up. You get 960 cubic feet. You haven't finished because it says this would be 100% of the capacity. This would be when it's completely full. 960 cubic feet is the total volume. The total volume is the total capacity it has. But you don't want the total capacity. The exercise says you want 85% of your capacity. So we're going to apply to our total capacity 85%. Whenever you have percent, you're going to do this, 1, 2, and you multiply. So we're applying a 0.85, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 6, 30, carry the 3, 5 times 9, 45, plus 3, 48, space, 8 times 0, 0, 8 times 6, 48, carry the 4, 8 times 9, 72, plus 4, 76, 0, 0, 8 plus 8, 16, Carry the 1, 6 plus 4, 10 plus 1, 11. Carry the 1, 1 plus 7, 8. And now you say 2 back, 2 forward, 860, 816 cubic feet. We check if that's in our answers. That would be letter this one over here. 816 cubic feet. So volume, length times y times height. The important thing to take here into consideration is the key words to know when it's volume. Whenever it says cubic feet, capacity, something to fill up a three-dimensional figure is volume.